we're looking at uh, the price of Twitter uh, closing in terms of that arbitrage, but also the price of Tesla with a little bit uh, of a relief, maybe, that he's going to have to uh, sell less shares or at least uh, put less shares up for margin. What do you think here? Look, I think it's been about a hundred hour per share overhang on Tesla, you know, since it started in terms of leveraging his shares. And I think this was a bit of a concern. And then on the other hand, with Twitter, when you look at Ellison, Sequoia and others, I think the chances of a deal getting done, let's call it, it was 80 percent before. Now it's probably 90 to 95 percent. So that arb spread will definitely now. And I think this is a positive to ensuring that it's not just Musk that's going to run it. He's going to have other partners. And I think that's something that's very important for the street all around game of high stakes poker. This was a great move. What do you mean? One of the names on the list is Binance, uh, which is in the crypto world, as you know. What, what do you make of that? And what does that say potentially? And I've talked about this a little bit, I think, on the program, the potential that he tries to use Twitter and, and, and effectively create a, a, a fintech or sort of uh, payment platform. Yeah, I think that's a great point. I don't think that's coincidence that they're on here. I think this is, you know, looking kind of two, three steps ahead. I mean, how are they going to ultimately change Twitter? Remember, the easy part for Musk relative was buying it. The hard part is going to be fixing it. You look at Sequoia, Ellison, Binance, and others. I mean, they're going to be key in transforming Twitter. And I think that also just shows a little tea leaves, crystal ball in terms of, you know, some of the strategic ideas on the whiteboard in terms of how Twitter will be transformed. What do you make of the possibility, and he's not on this list, but there, the prospect of him rolling in still exists, Jack Dorsey, of course. Look, I think that would be a smart move to bring him in. I mean, obviously, the core DNA of Twitter, I think that would help internally. You know, and obviously, Dorsey is someone, the history of Twitter, having him you know, more involved, I think is a positive. And look, this all came down to, you know, Musk gets Twitter, and, and as we've talked about, I mean, Ellison was always going to sort of be the whisper in the ear. Him being involved is not a surprise. But you look at some of these others, I think it just shows it's not just Musk that's going to turn around Twitter. Ultimately, I think a lot of the rolling up the sleeves is going to be some of these other partners and their teams that transform Twitter. And this is, this is great all around. It's great for Tesla shareholders. This Dan. has been overhang less ownership there.